Yoruba Nation agitator Sunday Igboho sets date for mega rally to actualize Yoruba Nation. Secessionist agitator Sunday Ademo Igboho has scheduled a date and a location for mega rally aimed at the actualization of the proposed Yoruba Nation. Igboho in a statement on Tuesday by his spokesperson Olayemi Koiki disclosed that the mega rally would take place at Trafalgar Square, London, United Kingdom, August 13th, 2022. The Yoruba Nation agitator charged Yoruba indigenous in the United Kingdom and its environs to come out and participate in the rally. According to him, Yoruba Nation must break away from Nigeria to avert further attacks and killings, adding that the amount of bloodshed in the region is alarming. Okay. He also gave out a statement and it read, the amount of bloodshed on our land is alarming and life is becoming unbearable to all Yorubas due to the Fulani government that is bent on going Ruga water bill in order to ensure they grab ours via the back door. This message goes to every Yoruba in the United Kingdom and its environs. Enough is enough. Break up now and put a stop to the killings. We have not been asked to go out there and dance to the glory of God for the world to see. And that is exactly what we are going to do. With Oh, so that's exactly what they're going to do. And they're going to do it with the drums and trumpets by the special grace of God. So I guess it's it's a whole event. Uh, the time is 11.30 a.m. Thank you. Igboho was quoted saying the statement fixing the Yoruba Nation rally. According to him... The Yoruba nation must break away from Nigeria to avert further attacks and killings. Igboho, Igboho in a statement on Tuesday by his spokesperson, Alai Mikweki, disclosed that the mega rally would take place in Trafalgar Square, London, United Kingdom, 13th of August, 2022. Great. Well, I mean... It, it's not surprising. I mean, on reading, when you actually read the article, you're like, okay, where would this actually be located? I mean, we know the history of the Nigerian government and now election time. Yeah. Mm. But obviously, seeing that it's in the UK, there's a sense of relief in understanding that, you know what, okay, fine, this is not going to be in Nigeria, which would cause... You know how the country wants... You know how the country reacts when it, it's, it feels like it needs to ex- exert its power over those that you feel, well, maybe it may look like a threat to them. But really, yeah, the fact of the situation is it was a little scary to think, oh, where do they actually want to host this? But of course, if it's a, if it's in London, in the United Kingdom, they sort of have, they're more protected at least. Um, and again, hopefully the impact that they want to achieve, they're going to achieve it. But right now, I don't think the, the energy of a lot of people are, is focused on succession right now. I think given the energy that is going with the elections, a lot of people are just looking to understand that you know what leadership is the main thing here and we have got to change who we have because the kind of leaders that we have do not give us the hope that they really do care for us so yeah i think that's that's something they should really think about anyways um but let's see what people are saying so we shall crush you people down if you attempt to establish your so-called Yoruba nation anywhere in the world. It is the absolute audacity to think that you have the power to crush down. Excuse me, what? People protest for different... I mean, London is... The, if you want to protest, I mean, there are so many protests for different causes. Even for wood, people will protest. Listen, London is the place, okay? And, yeah. Why doing it in London? Of course, why can't they not do it in London? Have you not seen what happens when they try to do it in the country? And to think that even if they try to hold the government accountable for anything that should happen... It never works. And to think that they can't even rely on the international community or well, international bodies that you know run affairs of you know international relations and stuff, they don't they don't seem to care. So or they haven't seemed to be very straightforward as to how they deal with issues like this. You are a fool by insulting a freedom fighter. Maybe he went to shoot film in London not agitation. How how do you know that? Hmm. Mr. Sunday, won't you adopt a more civilized approach in actualization of your dream? I think it is better. What is more civilized, peaceful than a protest? And it's going to be in London. You're not expecting them. Even if it was in Nigeria, I think the impression is that, oh, they're going to go there and start breaking bottles. But that's far from the case. Yeah. These scammers, they want to extort dollars again. Fake agitation. 
okay uh i said that tinubu is going to be a yoruba nation president and shatima will be president of boko haram caliphate wow strong statements you are causing problems for tinubu's ambition well i don't think he has any he doesn't owe tinubu anything and tinubu doesn't owe him anything so they can both individually do their thing but really in the grand scheme of things trying to fight for succession really right now is not as important in fact it would may even cause more problems because you're dividing it has to be a united move so you're literally dividing the people against themselves and you'd have some that are going for one nation nigeria and focusing on the elections and right now nigerians do not need distractions so really we've really got to decide is this succession or one nigeria because there's literally no point going through these elections if that is the case with the tension on the EU and NATO over the Russia-Ukraine war, you think they will listen to you? Well, <laughs> if you're not a world power, you're on your own. Uh, this is a life from the pit of hell. When you want to fight a madman, you must use wisdom. That is what, that is exactly what to do in Nigeria, Fulani government. But then now it's like, are we fighting the government or? You are fighting. You you really got to decide on this. It's not the thing where, you know, someone this has someone on that side. What do you want to do? So is it one Nigeria, or you are trying to fight for your own nation? Because elections are coming up soon, and there is no time to start deciding or dilly dallying. Well, it is unlikely that you know succession would happen before the twenty twenty three election. So this as well, this matter will just be a side thing that is happening to I guess show consistency. And I guess it's the same way that, you know, um, IPOB would try to do their sit out of orders every Monday in different parts of the Southeast to show at least that, you know what, things can go on with the Nigerian government, Nigerian politics, everything can go on, but we are consistent on this side and nothing will change. And I guess obviously, you know, with PTRB getting popularity and more influence, fact is they also came out to say that, you know what, yes, you know, Igbo presidency, whatever, 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 fact is it doesn't mean or stop us from also pushing for our own and what we also want to achieve so i'm not sure any difference would be made by igboho doing his rally abroad what is what it is put what you think about it in the comment section below and don't forget to like and subscribe